Hi, in this video we are going to take a look at the heat capacities of the matter and uh, also know how they are related to each other. So what we have here is a Cp and this is defined as uh, heat transferred at constant pressure over this inf infinitesimal change in temperature and uh, heat transferred at constant pressure is nothing but enthalpy so I can write this as I can't write this as dh over dt because h is a function of temperature and pressure both right h is a function of uh, temperature and pressure both so I need to take a, a differential in the partial I need to take a partial differential rather than simple differentiation situation and uh, therefore it would be do h over do t at constant pressure again cv can be defined as dq v over dt and uh, again this is the heat transfer at constant volume because the work it would be zero it would be do u over do t at constant volume because we know that u is a function of uh, v and t volume and temperature of course it's also a function of pressure uh, u but since only two variables are important so we take v and t because v and t are easily measurable because v is co kept constant all right in this uh, thing in this problem and uh, here the pressure is easy to calculate because it is kept constant so we take p t and p for h and v and t for u all right now i'm, I'm also interested in knowing how cp and cv are related so what i'm going to do is uh, write h as u plus pv this because this is always valid uh, there is no there are no uh, problems in writing that so what i'm going to do is solve this equation this for cp and it would become uh, I'm simply going to put u plus pv over here it would become uh, do u by do t at constant pressure plus since p is a p is a constant so it would come out of the differential so what we have is p into do uh, v over do t at constant pressure uh, cv I'm not going to touch this because it's already in the sort of reduced form right uh, now I'm going to solve for this uh, this part because uh, it's really important. Uh, so I'm going to solve for uh, do u by do t at constant pressure. All right. So what I'm going to, the technique that I'm going to apply is uh, since I know that u is a function of uh, v and t, so a differential change in u can be brought about by changing u. Uh, with a simple change in v of course i'm going to keep constant temperature for this process or it can also be brought by taking a small change in temperature and keeping the volume constant all right so what i need here is do u by do t so uh, i'm going to divide this equation right here by dt and also apply the condition for constant pressure so what I'm going to get is so I'm just just going to divide this equation by dt. So I'm going to divide this by dt right here. Uh, when you apply the, this uh, constant pressure condition, uh, this u changes into do because of course it's a function of all the three variables. So what you get is uh, okay, do u by do t at constant pressure is equal to do u by do v at constant temperature into do v by do t at constant pressure plus do u by do t at constant volume all right so this part i have got so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to uh, substitute this part over here and i'm going to take a look at cp minus cv because uh, what you see here is uh, do u by do t at constant volume the same term appears here so when you subtract it so these two terms cancel out right so what i have so what i have so this part and uh, this part cancels out and i'm going to substitute this for this uh, so it would be do u by do v at constant temperature into do v by do t at constant pressure uh, plus p into dou v by dou t at constant pressure so we have a term common over here so i'm going to take this common and uh, 
what I'll get is dou V by dou T at constant pressure into P plus dou U by dou V at constant temperature. Now, this relation that we have got right here is pretty important and uh, I have not used any specific condition for this. So it is valid for uh, for uh, gases, solids or liquid or anything, anything or like that. Uh, suppose we take a specific condition and I'm going to apply it for ideal gases or the real gas uh, or the perfect gases, sorry, not real, perfect gases. So I can always use PV as uh, NRT and uh, I can calculate this part. I can calculate this part. So uh, what do you by do T, uh, sorry, do you by do V at uh, constant temperature tells you is that suppose you have uh, uh, this uh, cube like structure in which uh, there is there are some gas molecules and uh, you change the volume of this cube so what happens is uh, since the molecules are ideal so there is no intermolecular forces of attraction or repulsion at all so if you even if you change the volume even if they go apart so there is no internal energy change because the temperature is kept constant and hence if you change the if you change v and you try to ch see what changes are brought about in the internal energy so there are no changes at all and hence this term would be zero for i'm talking about the ideal gas only all right and uh, I'm, 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 i can easily calculate this uh, do v by do t at constant pressure so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write this in this fashion and i'm going to divide this equation I'm going to write uh, that is this uh, partial differentiation with respect to temperature at constant pressure. So this pressure would come out and this would simply be nr into 1 by p and uh, and hence uh, I'm going to write this uh, expression over here what it would be nr over p into p and hence it would be nr. So what I see here it's pretty important actually. Uh, Cp minus Cv for ideal gases it comes out to be Nr and uh, if I'm going to take this uh, Cp and Cv for uh, molar and th molar specific heats uh, I'm going to write it as Cpm minus Cvm Sr all right so it's a pretty important uh, result that you must remember so what we did was uh, easy actually what we did was uh, we took Cp and uh, we wrote it as dou H over dou T at constant pressure. We took Cv and wrote it as dou V over dou T at constant volume and then uh, substituted H as U plus Pv. Solved those two equations and we subtracted them because one of the terms was cancelling out. We just wanted a relation between Cp and Cv and we were fortunate enough that one of the terms was cancelling out when we were subtracting the two. right? So Cp minus Cv comes out to be this right here, right? And uh, for the ideal gas, we saw that uh, internal energy change, with the change in volume, as a, as I keep the temperature constant, is nothing but zero. And uh, dou V over dou T at constant pressure is, and cal I can calculate this using the PV is equal to nRT stuff, and hence it comes out to be nR. And uh, I'm going to calculate the molar parts, and so uh, this is the equation that we get. All right. So in the next video, we are going to we're going to see how these things are actually calculated because for the real gases all right for the real gases this part do u over do v over at constant temperature is not zero all right it's not zero for real gases so in reality it's not zero uh, ideal it is just a just a ideal concept like it doesn't exist exist at all so so we're going to see how these things are calculated through the Joule, Joule effect and the Joule Thomson effect in their experiments. We're going to talk about them in the next video. All right. So if you have any doubts, you can uh, post them down. And uh, all right. Thanks.